So this morning we are doing some Christmas shopping. We have the morning off, so we thought it'd be a good morning to get hopefully most of the Christmas shopping done. If we are able to go to Orland Park, we just have to like play it by ear with time. If we're able to go there today, then we'll definitely get everything done uh, shopping wise, which would be perfect because I don't really want to be out right before Christmas getting a bunch of gifts, you know? I did get some toys and stuff on Amazon for the younger people in our family and then those kids that we adopted. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it, as long as we can get most of it done today, I'll be happy. And we were going to go see Fantastic Beasts this morning, but it just didn't work out. We just had that late start. So if we can go this evening, that'd be awesome. We'll see if there's one like after nine o'clock. That would be really cool. Uh, if not, then we'll go sometime later this week, hopefully, because I really want to see it. Uh, but yeah, so that's what's happening now. Alex is getting his coffee. I got my water and we'll be headed to go power shop very soon. Okay, so for everybody that's been asking, what you get at Starbucks. Tell us what you get. All year round, right? Hot, cold, <laughs> really cold. Uh, I get a Trent Ice coffee with three pumps of sugar-free cinnamon dolce and cream. And then what do you add to it? Three uh, droppers of stevia. He likes it very sweet. It's very important to be the Trader Joe's stevia because the other stevias are not created equal. I don't agree. I think that the Sweet Leaf stevia is very good though too. If you're wondering if we made it to, to Orland Park, here's the answer. Did we make it? I think so. <laughs> At our fave place. It's only been a week. <laughs> Wait, can we talk about this? Oh my gosh, this is so heavy, Alex. Look at this chocolate bar. It's huge. Like, feel that. It's crazy. It's four pounds. Unbelievable, how much is it? $14.99. Hey, do you need some yoing yoing? Yeah, I have essential oil like that. I have my oils, I could make that. This is sea salt exfoliating body scrub. Yeah, we could easily make that. What is it? It's a spiced holiday libation. It's pretty good. You wanna try it? We'll show it. We'll show the inside of it. It's actually pretty good. You see the spices? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> I might not get it next time. <laughs> We only got a couple of things at Trader Joe's because it was so busy in there. And I feel like for some reason right now, people were so rude, like like literally pushing other people. It was weird, but we're actually going to be going to a, an Italian deli right now to go get some things that we need there. My mom needs some stuff and then uh, we're gonna get some different Italian things that we can just throw in the freezer that'll be easy to cook. It's really cool because this is like one of our favorite places. This is where we go a lot for our holidays and stuff to get all the Italian imported stuff. It's awesome, it's called Rubino's. If you're anywhere near uh, Tinley Park or Orland Park, definitely check out Rubino's. I think it's called Rubino's Italian Imports. I'm pretty sure it's just like a little Italian market. It's awesome. See, I wasn't lying. They have great reviews on Yelp and I don't know, they're just so friendly and helpful and they just make you feel like, like you're at home, you know? It's, it's really good. So I highly recommend it if you're in this area. We're stopped at another Starbucks so Alex could get his refill. This is what I deal with people. Caffeine addiction at its finest. Lantern, I got caught up with. You were talking to somebody in there? Yeah, the guy that works there. He said he's, he's like, you don't see many Falcons and Hawks fans. And I'm like, I'm from Atlanta. He's like, I'm from Atlanta too. That's funny. So we were talking about the Braves and all that, so. So you got the Braves addiction covered. What about the caffeine addiction? Is that covered now? Check. Round two. <laughs> So here we've got Rubino's and then Alex's favorite place, the comic book store. Are you excited to go there? I'm excited to go here. He's 
in line for the deli. Look at, they have their homemade sausage. Lots of stuff. They have this cute little fruit and veggie section. They don't have much, but you know it's all good stuff. And then my favorite part is all the vinegar and oils, imported and not. Love it. So we're home now and we are watching This Is Us, we're catching up on it. Uh, we have last week's episode and then the other one just started recording a little bit ago. So we're gonna catch up on that. If you guys watch This Is Us, leave us a comment down below. It's so good. As you're fast forwarding, who's your favorite character on This Is Us? Mine's easy, Kate. Or Randall. Mine's Randall. I know, I love Randall. I like Randall as a kid and Randall as an adult. I know, I love Kate. I love them all. I love Mandy Moore, Rebecca. Yeah. And as Milo. A, as a kid, Kevin was a punk though. Yeah, he was. He still kind of is a little bit, but I'm starting to like him. I changed my mind about my favorite character, Toby. And we were crying. Do you agree now? I still love Randall. I love Randall too, but how sweet was that? He better... I'm not going to say anything, but... I love this show. It was very emotional. I feel anxious right now, though. It was really good tonight. Really good. Let's talk about the Snapchat story tonight. What is this? <laughs> Weird. This one. A A. <laughs> These filters are crazy. This one's that's yep, that's me. Actually, me. I love this. Is us. Love it. Look how cute little Nala is. She's so cute. If you guys don't follow me on Snapchat yet, you need to. It's just BL11 Courtney. I'll leave it down below. I'm now sitting here studying my glossary terms for our real estate exam that is hopefully gonna be taken by the end of the year. So crazy. We've been really studying hard for it. I mean, look at all of these pages that we have. Unbelievable, but we've been we've been working hard at it and I think Alex is gonna take it before me I think he's gonna take it on December 20th, and then I'll probably take it a week later I guess I should actually like show my face when I'm talking to you guys not just the glossary terms, but uh, Oh first of all this is from Amazon and I love it. It's like the most comfortable robe. It's awesome But uh, yeah, we got most of our shopping done today There's only two things left that we need to get my dad just has to finish off or not my dad, Alex has to just finish off my dad's gift. Uh, we kind of all did a drawing within our family, so we each have one person. Uh, we did. We actually did a couple of drawings this year, which is pretty awesome. I'll explain them to you guys. So with my immediate family, we all chose one person. There's five of us. We all chose one person, and it was my mom, my dad, my sister, Alex, and me. And we all just have one person, and we're spending $100 on the one person. So that works out really well, it's perfect. And then for my mom's side of the family, with like all my cousins and aunts and uncles and stuff, we decided that we are all going to do a $25 gift card, like pool, so we can get a gift card from anywhere that's $25, and then it all goes into a pile, and we all pick a number. I think there's like 27 of us or something. We all pick a number, and then from number one gets to pick whatever gift card they want, and then so on and so forth. But the higher the number, the better, because if you're the last number, you can pick from anybody else's gift cards. So as the numbers go up, you can take from the person before you if you want to. So that's the $25, and then we're doing a $10 white elephant gift with the same uh, like drawing system, which we'll, we'll do different numbers for that though, so not everybody has the same numbers in each pool. So basically we're spending $35 dollars for that part of the family which is awesome because then we don't have to buy for you know 26 other people so that's really good and then with my dad's side of the family we're doing a $50 gift limit and we each picked a person we all have one person so that's really good and then we just have like the kids that we're buying for you know and uh, like the kids in our family and stuff because of course I mean we're gonna get them stuff let's be real 
and yeah so oh and then Alex's family is the same thing as my dad's side of the family we all all of us kids picked a name his Alex's parents like they just like to get everybody things so they didn't want to be in the drawing but uh, all of us kids are so we have a $50 limit with that so you know it helps with a budget if you're trying to do it that way but just you know we're just older now like none of us need anything you know like we just like to be around each other but this just helps with that it helps with the budget and it just helps with I don't know just not making it about gifts you know so it's it's really really good so I'm just editing this now and I decided I'm just gonna end it now because why not uh, it's been a good day we got most of the shopping done like I said and I just got to spend time with Alex he only had to go to work for a little while he went just in between when we got home and when we started watching this is us so that was good uh, I got some things wrapped it was perfect uh, tomorrow I don't really know exactly I always I keep saying this like I don't know if I'm gonna have time to vlog but I'll make time to vlog I'll do it I'll make sure I do and if I don't for some reason then I'll definitely put the put up that makeup tutorial with the voiceover that he still hasn't done but hopefully he'll do it tonight when I'm done with this uh, but yeah again as always thank you guys so much for watching this please leave me a little thumbs up if you did like it and of course leave a comment down below I love my favorite part about vlogging and making these videos is coming to interact with you guys after I make them and leaving comments back to you guys and just talking and chatting and like getting to know you you know and I just I I don't know it's so special to me it's something that I will cherish forever and ever and I just love that you know the internet can sometimes be a little bit scary and weird and sad sometimes but like I see this as such a positive like I wouldn't be able to connect with all of you guys if I didn't do this you know and if you guys didn't come and watch and you guys didn't make videos and you didn't comment and all of that you know so it's like I don't know it's just a really really cool thing and I say it all the time but I will always be grateful so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow love you